This is a read aloud of The Most Beautiful Roof in the World, page number 25. If you're following along with the Engage New York modules, this is for lesson number eight. Meg carefully edges her way toward Bromeliad, another kind of epiphyte. An owl butterfly alights on a leaf, then flutters off. A dragonfly hovers like a small jeweled helicopter. At the end of this branch lies a world within a world, a pond within the canopy, a pool hovering midair within a bromeliad. Bromeliads have spiky leaves, which form a fibrous hollow tank. The outer leaves are bright green, but often the inner leaves are a fiery red and erupt like tongues of flame from a volcano. Rather than lava, however, there is water, and within the water, there is life. The larva of mosquitoes and the tiny tadpoles of a frog, temporarily using the plant's pond as a nursery. The tadpoles hatched on the ground, slithered into the, onto the mother's back. She then began the long climb into the canopy in search of one of these water nurseries. Other creatures lurk in the overlapping leaves of the bromeliad. In this bromeliad, Meg finds no frogs. Maybe the frog and its tadpoles have been eaten by the little venomous snake she spots coiled among the outer leaves. Perhaps, sensing her presence, it slips out of the bromeliad and scrolls across a nearby philodendron leaf, then holds perfectly still. With its pretty chain patterned skin, it appears like a beautiful necklace flung out of nowhere. There's a blur of movement in the corner of Meg's eye. A sudden dark design appears from deep within the bromeliad. It is a tarantula. It bristles at this disturbance, climb toor climbs towards the bark of a tree and comes to rest like black embroidery against the bright green leaves. There is one more bromeliad on this branch. Meg makes her way toward it and peers in. Out creeps a small tree salamander. Meg is excited. She recognizes it as a very rare lungless salamander. She has only heard about them and has seen perhaps one or two pictures. Because of their rareness and their inaccessibility to the canopy, these salamanders with their suction cup feet are one of the canopy's most mysterious inhabitants. No one knows how they breed, what they eat, or how they live. Meg backs away quickly. She does not want to disturb the creature. She hopes it will return to the maze of bromeliad leaves from which it emerged. This is the surprise she has been looking for to show her boys.